Hey everyone, it is Shannon and I am going to do another double bill. I am excited. I'm loving this idea. I'm just going to keep on going with the flow of this energy and I'm going to pick random from the jars. I think I have, I'd say maybe three hours, but I feel like my one hour 45 is getting a little neglected. So I'm going to chance that I get like one that's closer to an hour and 30 minutes and maybe like a really short one for my hour 30. So I can get two movies in. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, oh, I don't know which one. No, nope. it's neither. Oh, now I'm just feeling like I'm going to pick the wrong one. No, I'm not going to pick the wrong one. Let's see what it shall be. Back and forth. Back and forth. That looks like a romantic comedy type. All right, from night. Uh, is it starting? That was weird. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, when their car breaks down en route to San Sao Paulo, a father and son accept a ride from four, four beautiful telemarketers who are headed there on holiday. Starring Ingrid, oh wow, I'm not going to get any of these uh, names right. It's a comedy, an international comedy. It is directed by Jose Eduardo Belmonte, and the cast is Ingrid um, Diamarades, Fabio Asanquia, and Alice Braga. Oh, Alice Braga, I know who that is. Um, so, yeah, okay. We are going into comedy land, and it's an hour and 35 minutes, so that's good. I was looking for something a little on closer to an hour and 30 to hopefully get two movies in, so hopefully I will enjoy this. And my tea is ready, so that is perfect timing, and I will see you in a bit after watching back and forth. All right, I am back, and I have finished watching back and forth, which is also called Entre Idas e... Vindas. Um, it is a Brazilian film. It's in Portuguese and it is quite, it was quite lovely. I really enjoyed it. I always, I'm always so leery of comedies. Uh, I don't tend to have the best luck with them. I often don't find them funny, but this one was very sweet. Um, not saccharine sweet, but just charming and sweet and a nice story and really, you know, the characters were mostly really believable um, and just like, I just really liked it. I really liked it. And the, the um, description is actually quite accurate of four telemarketers who are on a road trip and they run into a father and son who have a car that break down and they decide to let them tag along. Um, it's so weird because road trip movies are kind of like a whole sub-genre of film. And I think they sort of fall into the comedy variety and the horror variety. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, and some dramas. There's some dramas too, but it's mostly comedy or horror. But this was really, really just so lovely. There, are, like One of the women is... Uh, it's sort of like the trip for the, for the women is um, sort of like a bachelorette party. So one of them is about to get married, and then the father and son. Uh, the father has not, uh, doesn't have, um, the mother isn't really in the picture, especially in terms of the son. Um, and she was the only character in it that I felt was really not very fleshed out. Like, it just, there, like, I didn't understand her motivation. Everyone else, especially the four women and the father and son, they were great well-developed, relatable, imperfectly beautiful characters and great performances. Especially Alice Braga is, oh, you can barely see her. She's just in that picture. She's the one who's about to get married. And then it's Ingrid. Oh, wow. Ingrid Marias, who plays Amanda. She's kind of more like the lead. And then the guy, Alfonso, is played by Fabio Asantiao. Okay, why? Okay. <laughs> I, like, I don't even have, I can't even fake a Portuguese accent. I don't even, I don't even know where I would start with a Portuguese accent. So, um, sorry if I get any of the pronunciation, not quite right. Um, but, um, the woman who played Amanda, Ingrid, she was 
amazing. She was really, really amazing. And the guy who played Alfonso was also great. Um, and Alice Barga was fantastic too. She just wasn't, she wasn't, uh, I really felt like Ingrid was the main character. And Alice Barga, I've seen her, like, I looked up her like filmography. It's like, yeah, I've seen her in like everything. I always think of her from Red Belt, but she was also in I Am Legend. Um, she was also in, there were so many um, Predators, Repo Men, Blindness, and she's in the, this year she's in The Shack. So she's in just tons of stuff. And uh, yeah, so this is really quite a wonderful pick. I'm really happy with it. I'm definitely going to give it a thumbs up so that I can get more films like this. And I am going to I'm I'm gonna pick another movie, although I'm feeling like I don't have tons of time because I'm kind of sleepy. But so let's go for the the shorter ones. Maybe I'll find one that's really short, so something that's an hour and a half or less. It's gonna be it's gonna be this one. This is it. This is it. Firstborn! Oh gosh, this is a horror movie. And this one, I actually, I think I just put it on the list today. Oh my gosh. This is not the best pick for being sleepy. It'll probably keep me awake. I think it just got added to Netflix like really recently. First. I don't know if it's two words. There it is. Creepy kid. Oh, it's British. Okay, so. Oh! Went too far. Playing, playing back. I have not mastered this. Back. That's really weird. Playing back. Okay, there we go. Firstborn. 2016. Horror movie. British movie. A young couple fights supernatural foes in an attempt to save their daughter from, a dark, from dark and mysterious forces that follow her every move. It's directed by Nirpal Bogol. Starring Antonia Thomas, Luke Norris, and Thea Petri. I am not familiar with anyone. And it's a, literally exactly an hour and a half. Wow. Well, we'll see how Firstborn goes. I really hope it's not too scary. <laughs> but it's kind of fun to watch something that just got added to Netflix. So this is probably the weirdest double bill so far. Yeah, Brazilian road comedy and British sci-fi. <laughs> or not sci-fi. Supernatural horror. <laughs> we'll see what it's like. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, so I am back and I have watched Firstborn, as you can probably tell by the angle and that I think my hair is different. Uh, I ended up, and the fact that it's daytime, I decided to watch this on a different day. I was just too tired to go into a scary movie. Uh, after watching back and forth, it just ended up being too too late. Um, but I'm really glad that I waited because this was actually a really good movie and a really good horror movie. Um, has a lot of the elements that I like in horror. It's a supernatural type of horror movie. Um, it is creepy. It is mysterious. And it doesn't give too much away too soon, which is the one of the things that I really liked about it. Um, the story follows a young couple played by Antonia... Thomas and Luke Norris. And, and Antonia Thomas, I know her from, she was in Misfits. She played Alicia. So they're a young couple and they have a, a baby girl who seems to just have lots of supernatural things happen and then they're kind of lost and they don't know what to do about it. And that's sort of like, I think you kind of know whether or not you like films like that. And if you like films like that, I would just encourage you to watch it uh, and not look too much in it. This is one of the few where the uh, description doesn't give too much away. Um, and I just really enjoyed it. The atmosphere was great. It had lots of creepiness to it. Um, it wasn't gratuitous, but it was intense um, when it was in like the, the scary stuff. And the girl who plays Thea is, I think, her, I think that is Thea. Her name's is this Thea Petrie, and I would imagine that's Thea. I think sometimes they do that with young actors. Um, who have large roles is they they keep their name the same uh and i thought it well i don't, I don't know if it is I'm, I'm kind of guessing um but uh no it, it did say the introducing yeah i think anyway she was she was good too um and i also quite enjoyed uh jonathan hyde is in this and i kind of figure out what i know him from uh he's was in lots of tv stuff um and he um he was really good so anyway um as was eileen davis 
who plays this character. I can't remember her name. So, but this was great. It was really nice. I like supernatural films are one that I tend to like, um, but I tend, I don't, I don't like all of them depending on sort of the angle and the twists and on the turns and all of the decisions that they make. But this one, I really enjoyed it. And I think most particularly what I enjoyed about this film is that it let you know it opened doors for possibilities, but it didn't telecast what was going on. And I really appreciate that. I think it's just, it might come from just having watched a lot of films. Um, I'm not watching as many films these days. Well, actually this month I've been watching a lot of films, but like at a certain point you sort of like really start to notice things um, like patterns or whatever, see things before they happen, not in a paranormal sense, but just in a sort of like, you know, oh, I know where this is going kind of feel. So I always appreciate when a film gives you the opportunity, like gives some mystery and suspense and just sort of like guides you along without letting you know too much, but definitely giving you enough to keep interested, to open doors, but not to directly be like, this is what's happening. So I really appreciated that. So overall, this is a pretty, this ended up being a pretty good double bill. And I was a little hesitant about both of them. With back and forth, I, you know, with comedies and road movies, I was kind of like, oh gosh, I don't know. Is this just going to be like, I don't know. There's, there, there's a lot of movies, I think, that are like that, that um that seem very frivolous and, like, you know, can be good fun in their own way. But I thought it was really touching and um, I didn't think all the choices people made were great. Same with this one, not all the choices people made were great, but I think that that gives it a, uh, uh, like, a realism quality to it as well. Um, so that was a great pick. And then this one, I was like, you never know, especially when it's a horror movie and you've never heard anything about it and you don't recognize anyone who's in it. Although I do know Antonia Thomas from Misfits, I didn't recognize her name, but once I saw her, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Alicia. So, <laughs> so it's kind of funny when that happens. And this ended up being great. I think it's the best horror movie that I've watched in a while. So all good, all good, yay. So that double bill, even though it got split over a couple days, was really successful and I'm really happy with it. So yay, good picks. All right, I will see you. Let me know if you've watched either of these movies or if you're going to give them a shot. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I will be back sometime with more stuff about books or movies or both. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks for watching.